All right, this is the support A to Z challenge, a challenge in which I am trying to win a game on every single champion in the game from the support role. We have made our way to Azir, which is a champion I've never played before in any role, let alone as a support. Um, I see potential with the champion, and that's mainly because as... Oops, I'm not supposed to do that. Um, as a mid laner, you're responsible for doing a lot of damage, so you have to be a little cautious when you are diving in and using your ulti because you don't want to get yourself killed. You want to be able to stay relevant in fights. I feel like this was not all that bad, all things considered. Well, never mind. My Calista took a ton of damage. What are you doing walking back up? Am I dumb? Um, anyways, I couldn't even finish my thought process there because my Callista decided it was a good time to run it down. Uh, but as a support, or excuse me, as a mid laner, you are responsible for doing a lot of damage, and thus you have to be careful when diving in. As a support, I can sacrifice my body a little bit more often and make plays for the team. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But we gotta make it out of the lane phase before we can do any of that. I think we can look for something here. No, I feel like we got a lot of their sums. This seems fightable still. Even though I'm uh, still learning how to play my champion, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, it's just a lot of right clicking for the most part, right? It's just a lot of right clicking. I could have played that better. Oh, yeah, I could have played everything a lot better. Okay, this is uh, this is all good practice. I don't die to an E here, do I? Um, man, I need some help. This is all a lot of practice. I like being in these little skirmishes because it, it forces me to use my abilities and get more familiar with them. Um, and again, even if we lose this game, it's not the end of the world. Ooh, that's awkward. So, okay, I, again, this is all good for experience and just learning how to use my abilities. Can't use my E while I'm on top of somebody. I forgot I'm gonna run into them. I'm not gonna go through them. Okay. That was what flash for flash and a lesson learned. I think that's that's pretty worth. What what even would be a uh, a good duo with Azir support? I have no idea. Also, yes, we we are going to be doing some testing here. So I tried comment this game. I'm going to try mandate this game. If we lose, which of course it's likely since we're first timing a champion, we'll try something different next game. Whatever runes that may be, I might try something a little bit more full AP next game. But for now, I want to try the uh, more of a supportive build. Mandate into Rylize uh, is kind of what I had in mind. The order is given. Okay, that was actually really close because it took me a second to remember what my abilities did and how I can get over the wall. I got out, luckily, but I took more damage than I would have liked to. Uh, you max... Wait, let me make sure this is right. What do you max on Azir? You max Q, really? I thought for sure it would be W. I think we have a lot of fighting potential, especially if we get a gank. I haven't seen anything too impressive, uh, too impressive from these guys yet, honestly. I think I made that a little bit too obvious. That's kind of the first time all game I've I've walked up and placed a soldier or placed a soldier like that aggressively. So they probably knew something was going on. All eyes look to us. No worries though. It's actually a pretty good time for us to look drag. So we'll just do this instead. Even look up to the sun. 
it's just gonna take time. That's that's really what it comes down to. It takes time to understand a, ch a champion's limitations and how to properly use their abilities. And sometimes it just takes putting yourself in a lot of different situations to understand how to react to every situation. Also, there was this ward here, so maybe that's what prevented that gank earlier. Wasn't me playing aggressive, so. We can try it again maybe later. I like the idea of letting them push here, though. One thing I, I haven't really um, got used to yet is using multiple soldiers at the same time. As you've kind of noticed, um, I'll use like one soldier and then just play the whole fight with that. And I'm like, oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. I, I, I have multiple of these guys. But you must witness. Your soldiers proc Kalista Mark, because Kalista Azir might be, honestly be good then if you could proc from afar. That I don't know. I, I guess we'll have to see. I think so. Now, can anybody correct me in the in um in the chat? Because again, W Max just makes the most sense to me, but I'm seeing Q Max. Is that correct? Also, yeah, that, she can save me after I go in. That that is another good. It's actually a pretty decent poke. I am a support at the end of the day, so I'm not doing like crazy damage and and killing both of them by myself. But I don't think any support could do that at this stage of the game, no matter who you're playing. I've seen a lot of promising things, and I think fights have gone decent for the most part. Also, let me switch this before I forget. I almost built the wrong item. We are going mandate this game. Um, yeah, I feel like I have been doing decent damage. It's just my Kalista seems to die every single time, and I guess you can't blame him too much because at the end of the day, I'm playing Azir, and I don't really have that much heal. So, well, at least not until I have my ulti. Yeah, the Q should proc mandate my E and my ulti. So it, it seems promising as long as I'm uh, playing the champion properly and not just standing back poking with my uh, my soldiers. Got to be a little careful here. They could be invisible. And I'm not six yet. Never mind. Okay, we're gone. That's good. I like when I get to spend time in the lane like this, just hitting minions. It just gives me time to practice. And I don't have to worry about them collapsing on me or anything. This seems a bit useless. Fizz into his ear doesn't seem like a great matchup. But hey, if he uses his E early... It's probably back up again already, though. Nice. I wish uh, Urgot didn't have to use his flash there, but I will take it. Eh. Okay, he's dead. You're right, Kalissa. That is on me. My, my fault. My fault. Wait, why am I getting pinged for helping take the tower? Can you name me something wrong with this? Other than us taking a tower? Wait, did I not do the last giveaway? Did I never pick before I went into this game? I don't think I did. Remind me, I'll give away two after, after this game. Instead of doing one and one. Well, I don't know how to play the champion, but I can tell you this much. That's not how you're supposed to play him. <laughs> I, I I was showing myself a little bit there. I, I saw it all in my head, and I'll tell you this much. It looked a lot better in my head. No, no. 
No, what? Why would I want to go in that? <laughs> Why are we going in? We should be going out. That's okay. Uh, I did get a flash, though. So let's just look at it this way. Let's just say it didn't matter that I messed it up because uh, Twitch was gonna... Twitch was going to flash away from it anyways. Um, do I want to take this wave too? Probably not. And then I might actually stick around here. Yeah, because they're probably going to stick around. I want him to go in on me, actually, but it's probably worded. We are made by our They've got to still be here, right? No? I thought almost for sure they were going to stick around and try to cheese us here. That's okay. I, I got a little greedy because I'm actually sitting on 1300, so let's get out of here. A couple shutdowns for us to get. I think all things considered, we're, we're in an okay spot. Let's go here. Let's go there. There and there. Um, I have a decent roam timer here to go to Rift, if that's something we wanted to do. Kind of more of a try-hard thing, but if I'm playing as you support and I don't provide a whole lot for the team as a champion, maybe I could provide it with some decision-making. Good sidestep. Okay, very nice. Uh, I mean, I, I hate to be that guy. Oop. You know, I thought I had my E up, and I, and I don't, so I wasn't going to accomplish anything there. I hate to be that guy. I don't like leaving my ADC by themselves, but I got to be honest with myself at some point. Like, they have five kills. My Kalista's 0-4. I'm not getting anything accomplished by going bot. So if there's plays to be made elsewhere... I should try to make plays elsewhere. Of course, don't want to just abandon him if there's nothing else to do on the map. There's nothing else to do on the map, so I'll go back watch. You almost always want to E first before your Q, is what I'm starting to learn. Because the animations are a lot quicker that way. Ain't they recalled? Okay, this is kind of a weird back, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it just because I can upgrade my Ruby Crystal. And potentially roam up for a Rift play. Also, now that plating is gone, I don't mind giving that bot tower, which helps me out a ton. I don't feel like I'm responsible for Kalista as much now, which is really nice. Her movement is actually not bad here, but she might just get one shot. very promising but they're very strong aren't they we didn't do any damage to them whatsoever I guess uh, yeah I guess Urgot's not as strong as I thought he was especially against tanks oh no okay this game was looking winnable um, it was just Kalista that was behind but after that everybody kind of fell behind And if we're at a point in the game where Ari is getting solo killed under tower, we're in a lot of trouble. An enemy has been so that is definitely problematic. Will 
something. Okay, can we turn that into a dragon now? I kind of need to know quick if we're going to do this. Because if we're not, I need to back and get my item. Okay, my team doesn't seem to be super likely to want to do this. Which sucks, because I, I could have been off the map and back on the map already. I just don't get we we killed their jungler, why would we not do this? Okay. Was that doing too much or was that good? What do you guys think? Was that good? Okay. I, I thought that was good too. I just didn't know if I was like, I, I, I'm so desperate to make an Azir play like that. I didn't want to force it, but I think that was the right time to do it. Sedge is here. I'm sitting on a lot of gold and I can still get my mythic though. So let's just get out of here. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. And I'm actually really happy that we're going a supportive build this game because I have a bunch of assists. If I was building full AP, I'd be so far behind in my build right now. Um, but the fact that I'm going support items, I don't feel like I'm obligated to have kills and I don't feel like I'm obligated to do a lot of damage. I can, I can provide more utility. And we already have eight kills on our Ari, so we should be fine. We have both shutdowns on the Twitch and the Cho'Gat there, though. That was huge. I guess that was the main reason I wanted to do it is because... They had two huge shutdowns, so even though I think we maybe could have killed them without all the theatrics, um, I really wanted to try to secure that that play for us. Pretty sure they're going top here. Great. Well, I thought I played that well too, honestly. Oh wait, what was wrong with my ulti there, Orn? I'm confused. Why did my ulti get pinged? I thought I actually played that pretty well. Unstoppable. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I thought I saw that um that roam top coming from a mile away, but I guess my teammate didn't. And then I thought I played it well, but I guess that wasn't enough. Um... I don't do any damage. Well, I'm doing a good job of positioning and staying alive, but I'm not able to actually accomplish anything in this fight so far. Oh, no. You know what? Maybe he doesn't have his ulti yet. Yeah.
I don't see anything else for us to do on the map, so I don't think this is necessarily us getting crazy. I think this is a good play to just chase this guy down. Very nice. Honestly, your Zero is really clean for not knowing him much prior. <laughs> I've never played this champion in my life. This is not not knowing him. This is not knowing anything. <laughs> uh, he's He reminds me a little bit of Rakan in the sense that, like, he's very, like, silky smooth if you know how to play him properly. Like, it's actually a little clunky just to, uh, like due to my inexperience. But I can see how you can kind of like weave in and out of fights and reposition your soldiers and, and move with them and go in and push them out and stuff like that. Reminds me of Rakan a little bit in that sense. Okay, I just want to prep for this. Is this mine? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'll keep that there then. I feel like I'm going to love this champion a lot more once I get my Rylize. Okay, this might be the fight that kind of decides the game, so let's hope we play it correctly. Can't do anything yet. Ah, oh, I messed that up too. Oh, I'm sad. I did not play that fight very well at all. I liked how I was able to position over the wall for the entirety of it. But it wasn't good enough. At least we kept him off the dragon. I mean, that's something. Damn, my ulti wasn't good either. Shurima's legacy will endure. I don't know if it's good that I stayed on the map either. I mean, I'm 50 gold away from... Uh oh Need a charm. Thank you. I'm actually clean. Woo! Wait, this this champ is fun as hell. Why have you guys never told me about this champion before? Oh, this champion is so much fun. And that was like sitting on a bunch of gold and half HP and half mana the whole time. Um, let's see. What do I want to build? I guess we'll just keep going with, like, some utility. Um, that's that. Okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real, real good. Do I take blue? Probably not. Let's leave it to the 12 kill Ari. Okay, we're on soul points. Um, I'm feeling surprisingly confident for our first time as here. No fizz ulti already. No great. Soldier, 
Now I'm kind of wishing that I had actually played uh, like full AP because of how much damage, I, or not how much damage I'm doing, but because of how well I'm doing. If I was playing or building full AP, would have been able to accomplish a whole lot more. Where did he go? That's okay, I think. No harm there. I don't mind playing really aggressive into this fizz since I have a... Uh... Stopwatch. Like, I'm willing to trade that any day of the week. We do have TP from Orn if we need it. Boy, I love this champion. I don't love that though. Okay, maybe I love this champion into when I'm playing against most champions, but not necessarily into Azir. Playing as oh wait, excuse me. Playing Azir into Trinomir doesn't seem like a whole lot of fun. But we're still 5, 2, and 12. That was another big ulti. Shoved him into the wall there. We might be looking at a first time Azir, playing him as a support, one and done with this challenge. Except I don't know why I would say that, because obviously that's probably a jinx. And the second I say that, my, my team's going to start running it down. Okay, that's fine. Let's just make sure they don't get this, um, and then we will play for soul points. Just gonna spam ping this though, just to make sure my team knows, hey, they have a slight window where they could do this right now. Let's make sure they don't do it. Okay, they're not doing it so far. This is all good. I don't have stopwatch for this fight though. I think we prevented them from doing Baron. They shouldn't be doing it now. Uh, and then we'll just prep Dragon instead. And honestly, look, if they want to trade Baron for Soul at this point, I'm down to do that too. Only downside is I, I use most of my wards uh, around Baron, and now I don't have that vision for, for Dragon. We need to push one more wave here, by the way. One more wave here before we go to Dragon, guys. Guys, this is not good. We needed vision, or not vision, we needed the mid wave. Now they have flank potential, they could also just shove down mid. Dead here. I jinxed it, didn't I? Ah, I jinxed it. What was Ari doing? I guess what was my whole team doing though? Like we needed this mid wave because that's what I was saying. If we don't get a oh, you know what? I forgot I had a passive. I haven't used my passive once this entire game. I have literally not used it once this entire game. Has been destroyed. We needed we needed the push on the mid wave there. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We played really really well this game. It just wasn't enough to get the job done. Unless Horn just has the most insane base save of all time here, which maybe if he had killed that one minion, it would have been a little bit better looking. Damn. GG. 
Defeat.